So I decided to create a monthly newsletter based on children's literature, different children's lit books. So for example, the first one I did was I did The Water Princess, which is a book about a girl that lives in Africa who has to travel really far to get water every day. So this kind of just talks about the water crisis, empathy, it can encompass a lot of the different SGGs and just gets the students in my classroom and in our school thinking about something outside of their own world. These are a lot of conversations that my students don't normally have at home or have experiences with. So the newsletter just kind of gave a resource for the teachers at my school where it would unify what we were all talking about and kind of give a way to reflect of, oh, I can't, my students can talk to someone else in second grade about this, or they can talk to someone in fifth grade about this because we've all read the same book and we can all reflect in different meaningful ways. I have noticed a difference in my students since implementing this into our curriculum. My students are more reflective and a lot of times the things that I'm talking to them about with these SDG, these global goals, are things they've never been exposed to. So even just with that, they're already learning and we're having discussions that they might not have at home or with anyone else at school.